Hi, welcome for another yoga class. I'm Susie, and this is, just go ahead and say your name. Ashley, Kristen, Shana. There we go, that's so much better. So anyway, welcome to our second practice, and hope you are doing well. It's been a crazy week for everybody, but you know what, we're okay. And today's practice is centering on the root chakra, which is chakras are your energy centers, and the root chakra deals with a lot of emotion that we might be feeling this week. We are maybe feeling maybe sometimes a little scared or frightened or not grounded as much as we should. So what we focus on today's practice, we use the tools of yoga to kind of work out some of the the stuck things that we might be in. And it's a lovely practice to really focus on it. So we're gonna do a lot of grounding pro, um, poses. What I want to say though is if you're pregnant, I don't want you to stay in an inversion to your head down. So if you are pregnant, you can come down a little bit, but just come back up. Also, if you have glaucoma, I do not want you to stay in an inversion too long too. And as always in yoga, to honor your shoulders, your wrists, your hips, your knees, your ankles, all joints. So if something doesn't feel right, just go ahead and come out of the practice. You can do child's pose the whole practice if you like. So it's your practice. So on that, let's move the flesh away from your sit bones. I want you to start to zip the spine up nice and tall, sitting in a nice, easy, comfortable position. If this doesn't feel right to you, you can always place a little towel or a blanket underneath you to make your hips a little higher. So I want you to go ahead and close your eyes, relax the shoulders away from the ears. And I want you to take a beautiful inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Once again, through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Relaxing the shoulders. Relaxing the jaw. And allowing the belly to be nice and soft. As you start to center yourself, in today's practice, allowing yourself this beautiful one hour that's just for you, well, maybe 45 minutes, it's for me. So 45 minutes of you. So let's start to inhale deeply through the nose and exhale through the mouth once again. Allowing the clutter of the mind to just move it away from the mat. Thinking maybe only of the breath. Starting to lengthen the breath. We did Dirga breath last time. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of continue with that, but not all the way through. Keeping the eyes closed, I want you to go ahead and inhale, allowing the belly to be like a big balloon. And I want you to count to four. So inhaling all the way to four, pausing. Now as you exhale, I want you to count to four as you bring that belly all the way to the spine. So inhaling deeply for one, two, three, four. Let's pause. Exhale, everything comes back into the spine. Four, three, two, one. Let's continue with that for two more rounds. Expanding the belly as you inhale deeply to the count of four. Pause. And exhale through the nose to the count of four. Letting the belly deflate all the way into the spine. One more round. Inhaling deeply. Pausing. Let's exhale all the way out. Take a deep breath through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Flutter the eyes open if they aren't already. Feeling maybe a slightly more grounded. So today's practice, there are some muscles in the pelvic floor that are kind of like a little basket. So in your mind's eye, or if you can, bring that pelvic region up, up into the spine, so tightening the pelvic region. And I want you to imagine a big breath as you breathe, bringing that breath all the way up into 
the spine. And I want you to bring your hands out like a little basket. So let's go ahead and inhaling up. Bring that ear all the way up. Bringing the palms together, keeping that pelvic region tight. Lift up and exhale, keeping the pelvic still up. Exhale down. Once again, inhale. And exhale. We're gonna do this one more time. Inhale up. And exhale, releasing those muscles. So if you feel like your hips are already tight, you can always change your leg. The, le the one in front can come to the back. And just wiggle a little bit if your back is, is tight. My, my back is tight today, so you're gonna see a little bit of a slower practice because I'm honoring myself and that's what yoga is about. So we're gonna go ahead and just simply sit up nice and tall and straight. And I want you to bring your um, left hand and your right knee, swing your right hand behind you and sit up tall and straight and take a nice inhale first. Exhale, go ahead and twist over to the right, looking behind that right shoulder. And on your next exhalation, let's go ahead and return back to center, sitting up tall and straight. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, twisting all the way to the left, perhaps even closing the eyes. Letting that exhalation remove any tightness out of the spine. And on your next exhalation, return back to center, good. So let's go ahead and just simply bring that left hand to the outside near that left knee. Inhale, rise that right arm straight up, bend that left elbow, and go ahead and do a nice side stretch. Maybe even looking underneath the arm, spread the fingers wide. And let's go ahead and exhale all the way back down. Good. Inhale, rise up. Left arm comes up and over to the right. And once again, kind of keep that hip on the mat. Keep the breath flowing. Never holding the breath. And let's go ahead and exhale as you return back to center. So we're gonna go ahead and come to a table. So we're gonna face this way here. So let's go ahead and get our nice alignment first. So I want your fingers nice and wide spread. I want your shoulders right over the wrists and I want your hips right over the knees. Top of the feet are right on the mat. And we're just gonna do a little cat cow like we did before. So let's take a nice inhale as you allow the belly to be soft, gazing right in front of the mat. And as you go ahead and exhale, I want you to push the mat away, arch the back like a scared cat. The head comes down and inhale once again. Hips come up, gaze into the front, squeeze the shoulder blades, and exhale, push the mat away. And anytime you're in a table, I don't want you to kind of slump. I want you to always keep that integrity by pushing the mat. So we're gonna do this two more times. And we're going to come back up to neutral. Good, wiggle the hips just a bit to get some of the tension out of the body. Okay. So we're going to do a little pose first. First we're going to do child's pose because this is the most, most grounding pose you can do. So anytime you feel a little tension in the body, you always want to bring your heart close to Mother Earth. So we're going to go ahead and sink our hips back. And we're going to keep it in an extended child's pose. So I want you to bring the arms forward. And I want you to bring your, your forehead down. Kind of see if you can externally rotate your shoulders away from each other. If you feel like you need a little bit more space, you can make the knees a little wider, if that feels good. Always allow your body to accommodate the pose. Just give your, it space. So if you can't contort the body, move the body to get into a space. So relaxing, grounding, See if we can really pull the hips back and extend the arms. 
Now from here, we're gonna to come to puppy pose. So let's go ahead and inhale, come back up. Now, puppy pose is where you bring your hands a little further apart. I want you to curl your toes under by pushing through the balls of the feet. Keep your hips up. Just imagine yourself like a, a puppy. What does a puppy do? Tail comes up. So it's, it's kind of like in between a downward facing dog and a extended child's pose. So your hips are up high, your forehead is down, and your, your tail is up. So bringing the navel deep into the spine, see if you can extend the hands as long as you can and pulling the hips back. So let's take three good breaths. Good, and let's go ahead and come back to neutral. Come back onto the balls of the feet bring the palms together at heart center. You guys just stay right where you are. I might be moving around a little bit more. So from here, I want you to go ahead and center yourself once again, keeping on the balls of the feet. So we're gonna go ahead and come into a downward facing dog. So we're almost already there. So let's come back up to our table. Get your alignment back, bring the navel deep into the spine. And you want as if there's strings pulling the hips up, come up halfway. So fingers are widespread like little pizzas are between the fingers, the eyes of the elbows, which are the little dimples, are kind of facing forward. And I want you to bring the hips up nice and high, staying on the balls of the feet, relaxing the head and the neck down, externally rotating the shoulders. And I want you to pedal each heel up and down. Now, the higher you have your hips, the more room you have for you. So let's go ahead and make this an energetic downward facing dog. So we're gonna go ahead and bend the knees. I'm gonna walk around while we're doing this. So your head and the neck are relaxed. You should be able to shake your head yes and no. Hips are up nice and high. And take deep breaths. And let's go ahead and start to move a little bit more into this by bringing our left leg straight up, three-legged dog. Bend that knee. And I want you to rotate the hip joint. Nice and wide, just kind of greasing up the hips. And let's go the other way. Good. Now let's bring that left leg back down. Go ahead and pedal out a little bit if you need to. And let's go ahead and extend that right leg straight up. Bend that right knee. And just go ahead and grease that joint a little bit. And the other. Good. Now, gazing to the front of the mat, I want you just to simply take a nice stroll. Feet meet the hands. And I want you to keep a bend in the knee and reverse swan dive, arms come all the way up, nice and slow, take it slow. Bring the palms together and meet it hand to heart, Anjali Mudra, good. So you girls can go ahead and face forward here. So we're just gonna stay in, we're gonna do some sun salutations and then we're gonna start to ground down a little bit more. So let's go ahead and inhale, rise up, open the heart, baby back bend. Micro bend in the knees, let's go ahead and Forward fold all the way down. Good. So we're going to stay here for just a second. Knees are bent. And you can sway back and forth if that feels good. And just kind of release the crown of the head down. Maybe the chest gets a little closer to the legs. Maybe not. Good. Placing the hands on the shins. Let's go ahead and come to a nice pipe position. So we're nice and flat. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up. Exhale, forward fold. And one more time, inhale, pike position. Exhale, forward fold, take a bend of the knee, reverse swan dive, arms come all the way up. Reach, 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 palms come together, meet at heart center, good, take a moment. Great. Inhale, once again, open the heart. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, pike. Exhale, forward fold. Now this time, we're gonna go ahead and swing that right leg straight back. Good, bring that right knee to the mat. Top of the foot comes to the mat. Now, let's make sure. You guys might wanna just go ahead and turn to the side. We're kind of working with this because it's, we only have one little camera. <laughs> so we're gonna put our knee right over our ankle, our left knee, there we go. And our right leg is nice and far back, here we go. So 
we always use that push-pull motion in yoga. So that forward leg always is by kind of pushing. Either the knee or the right leg is pulling. So inhale, rise up, arms come all the way up. Gaze up at those outstretched hands. Exhale, forward fold, good. So place the hands right near that left foot. Swing that left foot back into your table. Tuck the toes under, and we're gonna go back to downward facing dog. Good, pedal the dog out. Gaze to the front of the mat, and this time I want you to lift that right leg straight up. Bend that right knee and step it right between the hands. Bring that left knee down. Here we go. Top of the foot comes to the mat. Inhale, rise up. Arms come all the way up. Open the heart. Exhale, come on back down. Now this time, I'm going to tuck that left toe under. I want to swing that right toe under into a nice plank position. So let's go ahead and rock forward and back for three times. Feeling that nice strength. And on your next exhalation, bring that knees, chest, and chin to the mat. Top of the feet comes to the mat. Slide the hands back a little closer to the shoulders. Squeeze the shoulders. Pin the pelvic region to the mat. Inhale, rise up. Open the heart for cobra. Exhale, come on down. One more time, come on up. Big inhale. Exhale, one more time. Inhale, up to cobra. Push yourself into a table. Tuck the toes under, downward facing dog. Very good, pedal the dog out. Remember your downward facing dog is actually a relaxation pose, just like child's pose. So you can come to this pose too, many times. So we're just gonna go ahead and just step one foot and follow the other foot. Nice little forward fold. Inhale, pike position. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, arms come all the way up. And knee hands to heart center. Good. So we'll just do one solid sun salutation as we enter more into our practice. So inhale, rise up, open the heart. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, pipe. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, bring that right leg back, come to that right knee. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, come on down. Now this time we're going to go ahead and come to the ball of that right foot and see if you can bend that left knee and swing it back into a nice plank position. Bring the elbows in if you'd like to do chaturanga or just follow me with knees, chest, and chin to the mat. Inhale, rise up, cobra. Push yourself to a table. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now we're gonna go ahead and just simply bring that right leg up, bend that right knee, swing that right knee right near the hands, bring that left knee down, top of the foot comes to the mat, inhale, rise up, open the heart, exhale, come on back down, good. Tuck that left toe under to the ball of the foot and push that left foot to meet. And we're gonna go ahead and reverse swan dive, arms come all the way up. And knee to heart center, good job, good. We're gonna do that one more time and we're gonna go into some warrior series. So they're kind of fun. And that is another grounding pose. So the girls are gonna face that way, I'm just gonna face you. So we're, I wanna really make sure that we get our warrior two just right. So, well, maybe I'll turn this way. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, pipe. Exhale, forward fold. Now, take a bend in the knee and I want you to simply bring that right leg back. Now, don't get up yet. I want you to maybe make sure that that knee is right over that left ankle. So you might need to move yourself. And I want you to bring that right leg, right foot rather, to a 45 degree angle. So you should make a nice straight line between that left heel and the instep of that right foot. So you're nice distance apart. I just want you to come on up. Good. You can straighten the leg for a moment and just make sure your alignment is good. So. Let's go ahead and bend that left knee. Right, stack it. Now it shouldn't be in, shouldn't be out. Stacked, remember that push-pull? So pushing the left foot, pulling that right foot, nice distance. I want you just like warrior one, I want you to tease that left hip forward, right hip back, so we're kind of squared, like headlights on a car. Good, remember we're nice distance, maybe you need to get a little wider, maybe not. So we're gonna go ahead and just bring the arms out Relax the shoulders down the back. Nice wide stretch. 
Take a beautiful inhale. Exhale, gaze over that second and third finger of that left hand. Good. So, warrior is strength. Like I said, draw a nice bend in the knee here. Take it back. Good, looking good. Finding that beautiful strength that warrior gives you. We're gonna play with this. So, bring that left hand forward like you're gonna chop something. And we're gonna do, um, it's, it's like a, an, a bow and arrow. So I want you to go, always gaze at the hand that's moving. So take a nice inhale, gaze back, bring that right arm over, pull your arrow back. Inhale, rise up, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time. Good, relax the shoulders, straighten the legs. Now we're gonna go right into a, one more pose from here since we have this beautiful alignment. So triangle is the most, if you ever have the blues, this is the pose to do. So, so we always wanna pretend that there's a micro bend in that left knee. I never want you to lock that left knee, all right? So what we wanna do for triangle is just bring the arms out, nice, wide, relax the shoulders. Now, how to get into triangle is just to come forward, hinge, hinge, like you're trying to touch something right there. Now, just simply bring that left hand in front of you, palm that's facing forward. We're not about trying to touch the floor. We want to keep this nice integrity right here. Bring that right arm straight up. Now, just like our hips, we want to tease that left hip forward, right hip back, navel deep in the spine. Open the heart, gaze up at that right hand. A beautiful pose. Now, if you can't, if that's too crazy for you, you can be right here. So always modify yourself if that something feels a little funny. Make sure that that left knee is soft. Expand, open. Now let's go ahead and we're going to bend that left knee. We're going to cartwheel down. Bring the hands down. Swing that left foot back into a nice plank position. And exhale as you bring the knees, chest and chin to the mat. Inhale, rise up, cobra. Push yourself into a table. Tuck the toes under, downward facing dog. Look forward. What we're gonna do, since we're, I'll be backwards to you, but they're gonna face that way. We're gonna, I'm gonna face the other way. In fact, you guys turn the other way too, because we're just gonna confuse the heck out of everybody. So. Remember, this is just being taped on the fly, so let's not have any judgment in yoga. We're back up into our downward facing dog. Good. So we are going, this time, going to have our right foot forward. So I want you to lift that right foot up, three like a dog, take a bend in the knee, push that right foot right between the hands. Now, this time, the left heel is a 45 degree angle. Remember that push pull? There we go. And your nice alignment. Come on up. Good. So make sure you're nice and straight. Take a bend in that right knee. And let's go ahead and tease that left hip back, right hip forward. There you go. Bring the arms straight, open, relax the shoulders. See if you can gaze over that right, second and third finger of the right hand. Always watching the knee, making sure that that knee is stacked over the ankle. Use that push pull. Think about a warrior perched right on the, right on like a cliff, poised, strength. Bring that right hand up like you're gonna chop something and we're gonna do our bow and arrow. So inhale, bring the arm up, left arm, and exhale. Inhale, grab your arrow. Inhale. Good. All the way down. Good. Now let's go ahead and bring the arms down. Straighten that right leg. Bring that right arm up. Remember that nice micro bend in that right knee? Come forward like you're going to serve. Bring that right hand forward. Just let it drop. Palm up. Bring that left arm straight up. Gaze open. Now push that left hip back, right hip forward. Open the heart. Deep breaths. Trikonasana centers you. One more deep breath. And let's go ahead and come back down. Swing back. 
bring that right foot down, come into a nice child's position for just a moment. Recentering the body, keeping the eyes closed, relaxing the feet. Breath through the nose. Exhale, come back to your table. Tuck the toes under, downward facing dog. Good. So I want you just to step forward. Reverse swan dive, arms come all the way up. Palms come together and then your heart center. Good. So we're gonna do a, just a nice wide legged forward fold. So let's face to the front, everybody, and just give it a nice wide leg. Good. Place your hands on your hips. And I want you to lead with the heart. I want you to take a nice bend in the knee and come forward. Head comes down. Grab opposite hands to opposite elbow. A little micro bend in the knees and just sway like a nice little rag doll. Crown of the head is down. And relax the breath. Releasing any tension out of the back. And let's go ahead and take a bend in the knee, placing the hands on the hip, bringing the heart back up. There we are. Relax it. We'll just step together. So we're going to do chair position, which is Uttakatasana. So we're going to go ahead and face this way and get our alignment back in order, hip distance apart. So navel deep into the spine. I want you to try to keep the top of the body up. So I want you to bring the arms straight up. Now, it's like you're trying to sit on a chair, but not all the way. So your booty's way back there. Maybe even the toes come up and face them down. So all of the weight is in the shoebox of the foot. So bring that booty back, inhale, arms come down. Do that again, exhale. Booty comes way down now. And we're gonna do this one more time, inhale. And exhale all the way down. We're gonna stay here for five breaths. Booty's way back. Relax the shoulders into their pocket. Try to keep the upper part of the body as straight as possible. And exhale all the way down. Good job, everybody. So we're just gonna have a have a seat then. So everybody have a seat and we're just gonna, we're gonna face this way. I might move a little bit, but we're gonna do Baddha Konasana. So it's just like butterfly when we were kids, we used to call that. So you guys face that way. I'm just gonna face this way. So I want your knees nice and out. I want you to move that flesh away from the sit bones. And I want you to dig your thumbs into your, your arches of your foot and open the door. So your, your soles of the feet are upward. So sitting up tall and straight. If you can't sit up tall and straight, bring your feet out wide open, forward more. So you, the whole point of this is to hinge. So take a nice deep breath and exhale, pushing the elbows, opening the knees leading with the heart. Relax the head down. Maybe each exhalation you come a little bit closer to the feet or the ground. Really pushing the elbows into the knees. Use your breath. We're slowly opening the hip joints muscles, the psoas muscle. A lot of us are very tight here, especially if you're a runner. And on your next exhalation, just simply place the hands underneath the knees and close the doors. Good. So I'm going to have you push yourself up onto the balls of the feet. This, we're going to do a little, um, um, my mind is gone, I swear it is. So we're gonna do a little balance. Hey, maybe I need to be more balanced. So your hands are always close, but I want you to slowly see if you can come up onto the balls of the feet. There you go. Trust yourself. Maybe the hands come to heart, maybe they don't. 
bring the navel deep in the spine, soften your gaze into a dristi. A dristi is something like in the horizon. You might wobble, that's all right. We're gonna do this for five, four, three, two, and one. Good, let's go ahead and come down. I want you to slowly straighten. Last thing that comes up is the crown of the head. Shoulders come down, good. So we're gonna do a, one more very deep pose called yogi pose. And this is the most grounding pose. So you girls can face this way if you like. And your, your feet are kind of about the size of a mat, but I want you to bring your feet into duck feet. So kind of accommodate yourself. You know your body best than anybody. So we're gonna, it's a deep hip opener. So you might not get down. If you have any knee problems, just be careful. You might not come down all the way. So yogi pose or garland pose is, is the most grounding pose you can do. So on that, I want you to keep your back nice and straight, navel deep into the spine, hands at heart center. And I want you to slowly descend. You might need to move your feet. I've got long legs, so come on all the way down. It's like one of those plumb lines. You're going straight down. So you might be just here or you might be here, or you might be here. If you get down, great. Sometimes if you have a yoga block, you can place it right underneath you. So pushing the elbows into the knees. We're gonna stay here for three breaths. I want you to inhale, rise up. Now we're gonna do that one more time, a little longer. So if you need to come out of a pose, please do. So let's go ahead and inhale and exhale all the way down. So pushing the knees open, closing the eyes, maybe thinking of gratitude. And let's just go ahead and fall down, yay. Come on down, there you go. Good job, everybody, good. So let's go ahead and face this way. And I want you to bring your back down. I'm gonna take a nice bend in the knee. There we go. So that, that's a pretty deep pose. That is a wonderful pose to do if you have a digestion problem. If you're pregnant, that's probably one of the best poses to do. Very safe. So let's go ahead and place the hands around that right knee and swing that left leg all the way back straight. There we go. Pick up that right leg and bring it a little bit more midline to the body. Flexing both feet. And let's take a nice inhale and exhale, bringing the forehead toward that right knee. Inhale one more time, release back. And exhale, bringing the forehead to that right knee. Squeeze everything out. And inhale, bringing that head back down to switch legs. Bring the clasp hands around that left knee. Straighten that right leg. Right heel comes to the mat. Bring that right, that left leg a little bit more midline, flexing both feet, relaxing the shoulders, really opening that right hip. Take a nice inhale and exhale, bringing that forehead toward that left knee. Inhale, come on back. And exhale. One more time, inhale back. Exhale. And inhale back, good. So we're gonna go ahead and rock our, and roll ourselves back up. So let's go ahead and grab our knees and just give it a little spinal massage and find ourselves back up to seated position. Good, great. So we're gonna go ahead and come into Dandasana, which is stick pose. So bring the flesh away from your hips. Your, your, your sit bones have become your feet now, so we're nice and tall and straight. Maybe micro bend in the knees. And I want you to lead with your heart. I want you to go ahead and fall forward. There we go. Now you might not be all the way to your feet. You might be just here. It's not about reaching your feet, it's about hinging. So allowing the head and the neck to relax. And maybe you can rock your fingers 
a little bit more forward as you come down. Releasing any tension from the lower back. And let's go ahead and inhale, walk yourself up. So we're gonna do a head to knee pose. So I just want you to go ahead and bend that right knee first. We're gonna do, let's do a little twist first. I'm gonna shake that up a little bit. Bring that right heel as close to the body as you can. Sit up tall and straight. Bring that left arm around that right knee. And let's go ahead and stay that right hand behind you. Sit up tall and straight. And exhale over to the right. Close your eyes. Relax the body. Each exhalation, try to twist just a bit more. And on your next exhalation, return the body back forward. Now, we've got this beautiful alignment. I want you to just let that right knee fall down. So, you're pushing the right sole of the foot into the inside of that left knee or leg or thigh. I want you to make sure your, your hips are square. Flex that left foot. Maybe slight micro bend in that left knee. I want you to lead with the heart, come forward. And once again, it's just like Dandasana, but we're, we're just doing one leg, but we're opening that right hip flexor once again. And through the breath, keep all yourself a little, for, a little bit more toward that leg. Once again, we're grounding into close to the earth. So this is why we're doing, we're opening that beautiful root chakra. Perhaps using a mantra through each of your asanas or, or, or poses. It's like maybe I am, we're good enough. We are good enough. I'm good enough. Exhale, walking the leg back up. Place the hand underneath that right knee and bring it forward. Shake the leg out. Good. How are you girls doing? Doing well? Good. Let's go ahead and bring that left leg up. And we're going to do that twist on the other side. So heel comes close to the body. Square the headlights nice and straight. Flex that right foot. Bring that right hand around that left knee. Take a nice inhale. Bring that left hand behind you. Exhale, twisting over to the left. Close your eyes. Each exhalation, maybe twist just a bit, like a little dish rag, just trying to get some of the water out of the dish towel. Never holding your breath during any part of your poses. And on your next exhalation, let's return back to forward. Once again, we're just gonna allow that left knee to fall down. He might not, the knee might hit, not, might not hit the, the floor. A lot of times if you have a yoga block, which I'll bring a block in next time to show some, if you have a block at home or stacking books under, you can flip, plop it right underneath and it just brings the ground closer. So let's bring that left hip forward, right hip back, facing forward, flexing that right foot, maybe slight micro bend in that right knee, bring the heart closer to that right leg. Maybe you can grab the foot, maybe not. See where you are. I tend to have monkey arms, so I can kind of grab way beyond, but everybody's different. I've got a long legs, but a short waist. So everybody's designed a little different. Men especially too, you have tighter hip flexors. So don't try too much to go forward. Relax into the pose. They always say, you don't do yoga. Yoga does you. So allow the tools to help you. That's what yoga is about, is trying to balance yourself, unite everything back through the breath. And let's go ahead and exhale, walking the leg back up. There we go. And let's go ahead and we're gonna come downward now. Yay, bring the hips forward. Now watch as you go, slowly tape each vertebrae down to the mat. Oh, that feels good. Keep the knees bent. Take a moment. Marinate in that feeling of forward, now we're back. 
your lower back should feel very secure into the mat. If it isn't, just kind of move around to tape that lower back in. Let's go ahead and bring the heels a little closer to the booty there. Relax the shoulders out, hands come alongside the body, palms are down. Now just pretend there's two little strings pulling that are looped around the hips. And I want you to push in through the feet. Bring, keep the legs nice and straight and bring the hips up. I want you to weight on the shoulders, not the neck. And bring the hips nice and high, squeeze the booty. High as you can. Now as you exhale, very slowly, take each vertebrae back down to the mat. One more time, lift up. And you can stay right here or tuck the shoulders in, grab the hands, clasp them together. See if you can bring the hips up higher. Unclasp the hands, bring the shoulders out. Once again, as you exhale, bringing each vertebrae back down. Good. Now I want you to just go ahead and hug the knees, close the eyes, I'll guide you. Bring the feet up like you're holding the entire ceiling up. You can either grab your shins or the sides of the feet, ankles. And this is happy baby. So I want you just to go ahead and release from everything. Just relax the body. And as if you're an infant in the crib, you find babies doing this a lot. So perhaps we need to go back doing that. Allowing that peacefulness, feeling grounded, and using gratitude. And let's go ahead and release the feet. And I want you to bring the soles of the feet together and coming into a Supta Baddha Konasana or just open butterfly. So let's relax the shoulders down, close the eyes, palms come up or down. If you feel like you need a little bit more grounding, palms come down. So yogi choice. So relax the body, keep the eyes closed. And as we relax into this pose, we'll go into Shavasana. So I'm gonna allow you to either set a timer, um, because we're taking this, usually a nice five minute Shavasana is, is very important. Shavasana is corp, corpse pose. So from here, I want you to go ahead and allow the feet to come a little wider. Tuck the shoulders a little closer. See if you can communicate your spine into the mat. Bring the hands nice and wide away from each other, or if that's uncomfortable on the belly, or if your legs don't feel good like that, you can just tent them, yogi choice. Or you can even sit against the wall. So I want you to take a deep breath through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Once again, through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Relaxing the jaw. Let the eyes kind of fall back into the skull. Relax the shoulders. Relax the belly. With the breath, take a nice inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Letting the mind focus only on this point. The mind tends to wander. Give it a mantra. Give it a beautiful inhalation, exhalation, or perhaps ebb and flow or rise. time you inhale, bring beautiful, beautiful nutrients into the body. 
as you exhale, everything is discarded that the body does not need. Perhaps keeping that intention today. The intention perhaps is I am. Surrendering to the higher power and feeling gratitude. You may stay in this pose as long as you like. So I thank you for your practice today. Namaste. Thank you.